We found a white female in her 60s dead laying in this particular yard here. She was uh, mostly nude. Uh, we found evidence uh, scattered around the yard, which will be analyzed by our crime lab. The police investigation hasn't turned up anyone who saw Ione Sykos murdered, no one who even heard her being attacked. She was killed early Saturday morning in the backyard of a neighbor's house. Sykos was on her way home from a bingo game. Friends dropped her off at 7th and Center, a short walk from her house. And she was let off after midnight by friends who normally dropped her off after the bingo games. They observed her walk in front of her home, and those are the last people who saw her alive. The medical examiner's report in this case lists some of the evidence that was found here at the scene, including a bloody kitchen knife. The body is also described as having a footprint mark on the chest and numerous bite marks. The bite marks are being analyzed by a forensic dental specialist. Investigators took 60 photographs of teeth marks. The attack occurred in an open area very close to several homes, and police say that's somewhat unusual. Catherine Burns owns the house next door. They didn't hear anything. Nobody heard anything, you know. No screaming or nothing. And we can't figure out how she got over in that yard, unless she was trying to run away. Burns says she'll remember Ione Sykos as a quiet and friendly woman. And for the sake of the neighborhood, she hopes police catch the person responsible for the murder. Jeff Fleming, News 4. There was more than a single defendant on trial in Judge Arlene Connor's courtroom this afternoon. Also on trial was the science of forensic odontology, and specifically the study of bite marks. Robert Lee Stinson is charged with the murder last November of Ione Sychaz. She was the 63-year-old widow found dead near the corner of 7th and Center Streets. The crucial evidence in this case is bite marks found on the body of the victim. In what is a newly evolving branch of forensics, Dr. L.T. Johnson says he's an expert on bite marks. And it is Dr. Johnson's work that led to charges against Stinson. The defense attorney challenged Dr. Johnson's credentials as an expert, but the judge didn't agree. Dr. Johnson took special photographs and made exact replicas of both the bite marks and the teeth of the defendant. Robert Lee Stinson, the man charged, lives in this neighborhood, the neighborhood where I own Sychaws lived and died. There are unusual aspects to the teeth of Robert Lee Stinson. And according to Dr. Johnson, those unusual aspects were reflected in the bite marks found on the body of Ione Sychaws. And therefore, uh, that uh, the bite had to be inflicted by a, a dentition identical to that of Mr. Stinson's. The judge bound Stinson over for trial, and he'll appear in court again next week. The bite mark testimony of Dr. Johnson is sure to be challenged in future hearings. Jeff Fleming, News 4.